Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the King's Bounty 2. I have arrived, your highness. Hmm, yes. First order of business? I gave the order to release you not out of mercy or any misguided belief in your innocence. You've been released because I find myself in need of a capable agent. Oh, your highness. Your words are like the lilting of a lute in my ears. Listen to me closely now, and no interruptions. Whilst my poison-struck father remains incapacitated, I must bear the weighty burden of the crown as keeper of the Kingdom of Nostria. A few days ago, a... a calamity occurred at the Monpatry Mage Factory. Several people died. My subjects. Since then, I haven't learned a single true thing about the incident. The mages are searching for signs of necromancy, while Montier claims it's an act of sabotage by the Artisanians. The Lowborn are milling about in a panic, spreading wild rumors on the wind like grain for hens. The Royal Guard tarries. Even the acclaimed spies of the Adepts of Darkness can give me no straight answer. Thus I, Prince Adrian, heir to Nostria by the grace of the Creator, command you to carry out an investigation. But do not forget, until this task has been fulfilled to my satisfaction, you will not truly be free. Go! Perform this deed with full royal backing. Uncover the truth of what happened at the Mage Factory. There are people camped near Marcella. They call themselves Monpatry refugees. Start with them, and do not rest until you find out the true cause of the catastrophe. Okay, yeah, sure. asking? How can I help? My name is King. Distinguished Bardolf, you have to understand. We came here from Durfjord, sailed through the rocky There you are, my dearest friend. Let's not waste words. Dearest friend, you say? But never mind. Pray, continue, Count. Those murderers and villains trampled on Nostria's honor when they donned the uniform of our guards and attacked you. In broad daylight. In an impregnable fortress. Oh, Creator. Outrageous, unspeakable, impossible. But my resilient friend never feared. For you were in good hands. Mm -hmm. While you were taking your meeting with the Prince, my people figured everything out. Those conspirators needed you. They wanted to get to the king with your help, and... But how can we even think on such things? It would mean the ruin of the kingdom. We aren't wasting words, are we? We found out where the Black Guards are hiding, and have already dispatched both our regular guard and a detachment of royal guards to that location. The Conspirator's house is in the Market Square, at the Southern Gate. I suggest you hurry if you want a hand in thrashing those rascals. They must be destroyed. Immediately. If not sooner. My assistant, Bardolf, will provide a travel allowance to cover your first expenses. Go. The Royal Council is counting on you. Sir Montier, what a wonderful speech. Ooh. I actually really find it interesting how his voice acting. Distinguished Bardolf, you had a... Yesterday you were in prison. And today, you're acting in Prince Different Adrian's name. Arrest. Hmm. Take this. Your allowance from His Excellency, Royal Advisor August Montier. Sir Montier wishes you the best of luck in scouring our lands of schemers and traitors. So today, I got my first, uh... I got my, uh... COVID scanner! So I can get scanned in. To all the local establishments like grocery stores and that and get served. To any Canadians that are watching this, I don't know where else in the world they might be doing this. To any Canadians, what do you think about that? You can't, I don't even know if you can go into the hospital without having, I'm not even sure you can get your vaccine without having it. So this should be, uh, 
Interesting. Into the Citadel. Entrance is forbidden to anyone not on the Loyal stage. subjects of the king, in the Careful. name of his royal majesty, King Claudius, sovereign Hello. How are you? Doink. Careful. <laughs> she starts with this. What? A magical room. Arcane knowledge? But I got four magical power with percent. You ho hoink. Here come the highborn. Oh yeah, I should probably start. Oh, yo. The DuPont invited you here, didn't he? Don't let his debonair... The work of Phygeus, the chronicle. I wonder how many of his own Fancy embellishments he added in. To me. Very friendly. Never play cards with him. Not under any circumstance. I took the risk once. Half my fortune away in a single night. What's up, guys? I wonder how this playthrough is going to go for. Like, uh, now that I'm a little bit out of practice, and I don't have everything as memorized, I'm sure it's going to go a bit different, but. So how much is there? Hey, Pete. Excuse me, sir. Where's the refugee camp? Refugee camp? <laughs> Do I look like someone who gives a fig about such trifles? There's no need to get angry. Such behavior isn't becoming of a city official. As far as I know, the prince is yet to appoint someone to take charge of the refugees. Me, I'm in charge of the cisterns and that blasted aqueduct. Didn't a dragon crash into the aqueduct about 50 years ago? What is it this time? Wyverns? Griffins? It's old and magical to boot. Few people even understand how it works. I thought this master who studied at the mage school would fix things. But that idiot Eugene hasn't been any help at all. It's been eight days already. The reserves are running low. The cisterns will be empty in a week. What can that lazy bum be thinking? You never know. He could be thinking drink. all manner of things. Move it. Move it. Doesn't buy you a drink around here. Get told, dude. Damn, the adepts. You've locked me out, I can't just go in right away and purchase a high tier unit to carry me through the game. Hmm. This is a tragedy, like one of the greatest tragedies. The lower of town. Life. Both figuratively and literally. Quit that cheaping. Wait, you green is freak. that a chick in that Stop barrel? Stupid chicken. Whoa, now there's a mark. Hey, heard the new joke about the savior of Nostra? We You've must have caught a traitor. <laughs> Just like a knight from a Why? 
change that. What do we do now? Oh. You've been to Upper Marcella? Pray tell, haven't you seen them? Who? Give me the specifics fast before I get angry. Four green feathered Bruh. Illyrian chicks. They're hard to miss. Okay, it's a really stupid story. I promised to deliver these chicks to the royal kitchen, but my useless son dropped the chicks' cage and now they've scattered all over Marcella. Some back alley beggar is bound to have eaten them by now. How can you say that? A single one of those chicks is worth more than a warhorse. I'll pay 50 gold pieces a head for those chicks if that's what it takes to get them back. I can't afford a breach of contract with the Royal Kitchen. My entire business depends on it. That's a lot of guards. <coughs> I would say it is. Hello there! Can I have a few words with you? As long as it really is just a few. I can see you're a capable sort, and I bet you aren't afraid of getting in a pickle from time to time. I'm a wanderer, just like you. Gee, how rude. I forgot to introduce myself. The name's Dwayne. I'm a famous treasure hunter. Everyone's heard of me. Famous treasure hunter, eh? Don't know the name. That's because I'm a wanderer, as I said. I come from Mersalyn. I've been plenty of places. Visiting the elves in Marion, sailing to Port Le Grand on a Lear. Ah, oh, yes. A real hero's hero. But whatever could you need from my humble self? It involves treasure, naturally. I know of a find that will make us both rich. After we fight a vicious monster for it, I mean. I discovered a cache of valuables, you see. A precious amulet and a pile of gold. But evil is a loggy, and his gifts as well. I was on my knees, gathering the gold into a sack, when a monster crawled out of the dark and took a piece out of my leg. I had to flee. I got away with my life and not much else. Now here's what I'm offering. Bring me the amulet, and I'll pay 5,000 coin for it. Quite a windfall, isn't it? Dwayne, the treasure hunter, knows where the money's at. Get me? How come you've got so much money at your disposal if you left the gold back in those ruins? <laughs> Nothing gets by you, eh? I found a wealthy buyer for the amulet. Produce the amulet and I'll produce the money. Here, take this as a down payment. Mm -hmm. I can see you're trustworthy. You know, anarchy is really our thing this time around. You, stay where you are. The way is open to Knights of the Guard only. Councillor Monchet sent me. Are you in charge of the guards? The guards' job is to catch pickpockets and keep the road clear of loiterers. I am a Knight of the Royal Guard. A search is underway. We received word that some traitors are holed up here. The same villains who conspired to attack the Batil gates. No one was found in the house or yard. I'm waiting on one more squad to report. They went to investigate the cellar. Strangely, I've had no word from them for quite a while. Escort me to this bottomless cellar of yours at once. Well, since the King's Counselor sent you, you may pass. 
My orders from the legate of the Royal Guard, Horus, are to stay here. Quite an interesting seller. Not roomy enough for me. Can't contain my character's ego. So we need more. Still up for it. Got a key. Now I just need to find the door it fits. Hey, I wonder if I upgrade that further. I miss clicking all over the place. Hit the level two. Cozy study. I like it. Let's go take a look around. What are you fiddling with? This cursed thing won't open. Just press harder. Not much. Papers. No. <laughs> ah! Come on. Come here, you bony bastard. Well, one of them escaped. Though. So. Ran away. Didn't show him die. Do you think he'd be here for us to see and save?
I definitely think this will definitely be harder than the other playthroughs. I'm really so reliant on magic attacks. But at the same time, I also feel like it's a good chance it might be easier than expect. I expect, but it won't be at first. Due to the magical abilities just stacking up and getting really broken really fast. Perfect secret lair. I wish I had one like it myself. Mm, no. We don't want a lair like this. It smells. I'll finish searching the house. You, gather your company and pursue Tenebras. Quickly now, before he escapes. I go at once, Your Grace. We'll crush that bastard. And you, guard, did you not hear my order? I did, dear Horus, but I don't serve you. Tenebras, how are you here? What crooked business is this? Answer me, now! Later, my friend, please. We are not alone. So, your Horus, your timing is excellent. The guard was busy looking for suspects. Most of all, I needed this one. Tenebros, leader of the Dark Adepts, at your service. Stop playing the fool, Tenebros. Who paid you off? The Adepts did not sanction your assassination, nor accept any contracts in your name. Yes, we followed you, but to kill you? What for? I assure you, if the Adepts desired your demise, we would never have wasted our energy on such a dubious scheme. Is that your word for it? Scheme? Your assassins slaughtered everyone at the Batil Gates! Not just my assassins. They were brought through to the caves by people in guard uniforms. New uniforms, delivered to guard headquarters only the day before. They entered posing as an escort, and they knew the password. The password entrusted to you and your knights, Horus, and no one else. Enough! If you knew all that, why didn't you intervene? Because this time, dear Horus, you are not the only one who was deceived. By the darkness, if our spies knew what was going on. You just weren't paid enough. Cordon off the area! Leave no stone unturned! Any evidence you discover must be sent to me immediately! You found a thing or two in the basement, yes? If you want to uncover the person behind the assassination attempt, it would be prudent to pass this evidence over to us. It was wise for you to bring us this note. What kind of person is this fraud? Where can we find him? A Knight of the Guard, scion of a once prominent family. Now it seems he's in the employ of your enemies. He made this morning for his family's castle, Irock. I must stress that Horus personally granted him leave from the Guard. What am I to infer from this tidbit? You should make haste. Farad will be silenced for good unless you get to him first. He is protected by his own loyal knights, but what of it? Knowledge must ever be earned. If you find yourself in need of advice, I will be waiting for you by the tavern in the lower city. Godspeed. Mm -hmm. You know. Hey, heard the new joke? 
Austria. We've heard all the Sabres. Heard the new joke about the savior of Nostra? We've heard all the savior jokes. Whoa, now there's With a mark if ever I've seen a freak. Stupid check. Now there's a mark if ever I've seen I said give me a drink. Move it, move it. Move it doesn't buy you a drink around here. What would you do if you ran out of money playing this? Huh. That would be interesting. One assassin's not gonna do much. Unfortunately. Hey you, townsman. What is that sound coming from that barrel? Cheap, 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 I think it is. A green chick. They're supposed to be worth a bundle. Why do you care? I care because a merchant named Gallon is missing a few of these rare chicks. And I've been tasked to find them. You're working for Gallon. That pathetic excuse for a cook. Is he paying you in stew? <laughs> Tell him his son insulted me. Me, Will Cutter, the pop ran full into me. If I'd have been holding a drink, I might have spilled it. I took the chick as payment for his bad manners. You're one bold brute. One more word, and you'll wake up face down in a ditch, dead. And no one will touch me either. You want to know why? Ask Centurion Prim if he's got time to waste on a nobody like you. Hmm. So how much is there? Will it last a week? The rabble in this city are getting quite brazen. I barely stepped outside the palace when I was accosted by this rude fellow named Cutter. How long has it been this way? Ever since the king was poisoned and his wise advisors and magistrates took over the country. Though he has his weaknesses, King Claudius is a very stern monarch. While he was in good health, people obeyed his every word, as if it were law, which in fact it is. Now everything is stuck. Every protocol and directive in question. The future vague. Sure, you could place all your hopes in a good king. Or how about dealing with these problems yourself? The last time I tried to deal with Cutter, I was almost sent to Crucis. On a charge of conspiracy to assassinate an assistant magistrate. Tweets, of course. So if you want to deal with a dog, find its master first. Do you see what I mean? But should something unfortunate happen to Cutter, none of the guards would see or hear anything about it. I certainly wouldn't shed any tears for him. So how much is there? Will it last a week? What does everything else cost? If a single chick goes for 50 gold?
Gold seems to be a broken. Oh, beauty of beauties! You've stolen my. Would you like to go for a walk? A walk? What are you doing here? Why are the floors still dirty? It's not my fault, my lady. More of your excuses. Damn immigrants! This is the capital of Austria. Oh, beauty of beauties! You've the stolen my heart. Be wary and be vigilant. Hello. For these virtues go hand in hand. Keep your family safe. For death by plague is long and full of suffering. I've seen you at the tavern quite often lately. Didn't you just get married last month? Did you hear about the war in Lorien? You must be Magistrate Tweet. Ah, can it really be you? Everyone I know is talking about the wonderful trick you played at their grand assembly. Well done, very well done indeed. I wonder where you found that elf. You looked every bit like a genuine scryer. If that was a trick, then I'm Ulagi's mother. Your friend Cutter, though, seems quite fond of bad jokes. What are you implying? I am blameless before the law. Cutter, who calls himself your friend, refuses to give up a certain item I need. This Illyrian bird is worth more than that hard-headed thug entirely. On top of that, the chicken question was meant for the royal kitchen, and Prince Adrian in particular. The chick is for Prince Adrian? Why, that changes everything. Of course, I don't want to deprive the prince of his meal. I'll take care of this misunderstanding in a jiffy. I'll send word to Cutter and explain everything. And let me get you something for your trouble. Just a moment, what have I got in my pockets? Here, this should reconcile us, and Prince Adrian will enjoy a hearty meal. Everyone is satisfied. Wait a moment. As I recall, you were sent by Prince Adrian. <laughs> Isn't that right? That depends on what you want. There's this delicate business. And its resolution would serve the interests of the Crown. Flavius the Wisecracker is missing. He's no ordinary man, but a courtier acting as an assistant to the King, the Prince, and the Royal Counselor Montier himself. Flavius writes their speeches, you see, and the text of their decrees. That man handles words with the agility of a juggler. The magistrates find him very useful, indeed. But Flavius has been missing for three days now, and I need him urgently. Business of utmost royal importance, I assure you. Gone today, here tomorrow, I'm sure. Creative people, the young ones especially, are prone to wander. He's not particularly young. He recently mentioned he's about to begin his most significant work yet. He spoke of some inconceivable revelations. He seemed agitated as well. He was mumbling something about a swan song, a terrible truth, planning to visit some ancient ruins. I've known Flavius for a long time. Please find him if you can and bring him back to Marcella. The magistrature will pay you for your trouble, of course. My dear friend, Who's it pains that? me to see this. What's going on around here? What do you mean? The epidemic. The epidemic itself. That's impossible. Mana is an endless resource. Not everyone thinks so. Do you believe in that blight nonsense too? No, bless your soul. But... Mm. Tastes like chicken.
We replaced the crystal, but the matter's draining away. Fuller, I've never brought anyone to this place before. I want you to be the first. Valmont, I do like you. That is an endless resource. Not everyone thinks so. You believe in that boy? Just sworn there was treasure here. Miss the other side. Hmm. Yeah, that's the other side. We replaced the crystal, but the matter is draining away. What are we doing wrong? I say this is the most interesting episode, most definitely not, but still, you know, gotta start somewhere. Hey, heard the new joke about the savior of Nostra? We're only doing we we've heard the check, the then, uh, Whoa, the green freak. So you're well connected, huh? A real bigwig. Damnation. The times we're living in. A nobody from nowhere arrives on the scene. And now an honest Marcellan has to dance to their tune. Ugh, enough of your whining. Where's the chick? It's right there. Take it. Just leave me alone. Do-gooders. Mm. Hey, heard the new joke about the savior of Nostria? We've heard of all the savior jokes. What do we do now? Here are your chicks. The whole lot. The locals must be dim-witted. Or someone else would have caught them before I did. Oh, my precious little chickies. My treasures. I thank you with all my heart. You saved me. Saved you? And 200 gold made it worthwhile. Where's Good that jackard? How much longer do I have to store this cane for him? What cane? I know you've no answer for me. Jackard, our master golem craftsman, ordered an iron cane from me and never returned to collect it. I understand that his leg is troubling him, but how hard can it be to get from his workshop to the marketplace? Or he could have sent Ada to fetch it. What am I to do with this thing now? How far is this workshop? Three days on horseback, I assume. It's very close. Just turn right at the Marcellan Wall. Here, take the cane. It's propped against the counter. <sighs> you might also consider buying some golems to guard you. Okay, we're gonna call it here for now, everybody. Um, just trying to work my way into playing it again, and then I'm gonna... I'd probably get most of it done within like one or two days. Until next time, see ya!